hi, I'm Sonnet with Sonnet's Garden Blooms. I want to welcome you all to my channel. Now, in today's video, we are doing another thrift to treasure. So I'm taking five items from my recent hauls and I'm flipping them for you. I'm going to use a wide variety of items to do the flips, but my main focus today is getting ready for antique acres. And I have, um, if you watched last the last video, I basically like laid out exactly how I want it my booth set up and I am just pulling items where I know that I want to place them and kind of have an idea of what I want to do. So normally on my thrifted treasures I try to do a theme and today it was kind of all over the board. So I have these items, I have visions for them and I hope you guys enjoy. For project one, I had a vision that I wanted to make these like a distressed looking turquoise and I wanted it to be a little bit more of a green, um, like a green tur turquoise. So what I did is I mixed 50% Salty Kiss and 50% Old 57 and I created a custom color. So anytime you are using any of the DIY paints, you can create your own custom colors. I applied two coats of this color to both of the finials. I let it dry really good and then I decided that uh, it was just really bright. I didn't know if I wanted it this bright so then I pulled out the dark and decrepit. It is a liquid patina that you put it on uh, and you wipe it back a bit and it gives a, a different depth to your piece. So I started applying that and and I, I ended up applying it to both of the pieces. I loved how it looked, but I thought it was a bit too dark. Uh, so this was just me playing around with different colors, different patinas, and I let it dry. I did both of them with the dark and decrepit, let them dry, and then I determined uh, that it was too dark. So then I went back and I applied a little bit more of the custom color. I wanted to just um, tone that darkness down just a hair. So I went and I just, um, like I said, applied some of the paint all over, let that dry. Then I went back with Big Top and I clear coated it and then I let it dry. Um, what I discovered was I thought it was too shiny. I loved the look of it, but the sheen was just too much uh, for the look I was going for. So then I pulled out white wax and I just applied a coat of white wax to the entire piece, wiped it on, wiped it back, and it toned that shine down a bit. And I really do like how it turned out, but realized it wasn't really the turquoise that I was going for. I wish that it would have been more that turquoise look. So for project two, if you remember this from a recent haul, I loved this container. There was just a mark on the front, and so I decided to pull out Desperado, the new transfer from IOD, and I've been meaning to play around with this a little bit more. That little black buffalo caught my eye right away, and I knew that was going to be the focal point on the front of the container. Uh, the reason I think somebody got rid of it, there must have been something already on that front, and it fell off. So the buffalo was going to be on the front, and then I was going to take those vertical lines and wrap those around. That was my vision for this uh, flip. 
If you haven't used a transfer before, it is so easy. And what I realized very quickly with using transfers is you can cut them apart, piece them however you want to create whatever vision you're looking for. So you would just lay down that piece of transfer and just as I'm doing, rub it with the transfer stick and uh, peel the top piece of paper back, uh, the clear paper that holds the transfer. So you rub and then you just start peeling back and the transfer then applies to your piece. After the transfer is on there, what you want to do is what's called burnish your transfer. So you take that backing that the transfer was on and you rub the transfer with that piece and that burnishes the transfer into your item that you've put the transfer on. And then after that, you want to apply a clear coat to your transfer. So I like to use Big Top and I just apply a nice even layer of Big Top to your entire piece and that will completely seal it. For project three, I picked this up on a recent haul. It was $5.99 and I believe the green was half price. So we are also using another new transfer from IOD. I loved this transfer so much that I've used it up almost completely already. Uh, this is great for all your smalls though. So uh, it has a lot of um, just real unique uh, transfers in it. Uh, so what I'm doing or my vision for this is I want it to look like a vintage uh, container. So I knew that it was not going to be a perfect application because of the rounded uh, surface and which made it perfect because I it did not when it applied, it kind of overlapped in a couple areas. And then I went in with sandpaper and then distressed it back to make it look aged. So as you can see, when I pulled it back, you can see some of the piece did overlap and on top it wasn't perfect. And at first I was a little stressed out, but then I realized that that is exactly what I was going for. Uh, just more of a worn looked finish. So I took the sandpaper and then I just sand it back any areas where it did overlap and I kind of distressed it a little bit too just so that it did look aged and old. Uh, and, and then in the end I absolutely loved how this turned out. To finish the piece off, I am using a big top and I'm going to apply just around the edge and over the whole piece, a even layer of big top to completely seal it. For project four, on my recent haul, I did find this watercolor. I paid $1.99 for it, and it is signed and numbered by the artist. I thought it was absolutely beautiful, loved those colors, and I did not like the frame. I wanted to bring out one of the colors in the, the watercolor itself, so I decided because of spring and green being so prominent 
for spring. I thought green would have been perfect. So I used the color aviary to do that. I applied two good coats of aviary to the frame, let that dry, and then I went back and I did a wet distressing. Uh, you take a wet rag and you just distress specific areas, like raised areas on the frame. And uh, I did that, let that dry, and then I went ahead and I applied a good coat of big top to the entire piece to seal it. Anytime you're using DIY paints, you do want to seal the paint so it does not reactivate. And that's what I'm doing here. So I applied a nice even layer to the entire piece, let that dry. And I just think that this piece turned out perfect. I love how the green brought out the green in the actual print. Uh, I think that it is going to sell very quickly at my upcoming show. So for our fifth and final project, I found this little crate on a recent haul. I paid $3.99 for it. And again, I think green had been the half price item. So I got that for half price. On the front, it did have a piece of paper that was like glued on with some very, it was not uh, a pretty design. So I took my sander, I sanded off the entire front, and I'm also cutting off the bows. Uh, the rest of the crate had uh, kind of like a checked, uh, pink checked all around the border. So uh, initially what my vision here is I'm going to paint it a really pretty color called Queen Bee. And I am also using that transfer uh, that I've almost completely used up. And we are going to apply a transfer to the front of this. And then I'm going to just have some green sticking out the top. And I think this is going to sell very quickly at that upcoming sale. So I am applying two coats of Queen Bee to the entire piece. And I absolutely am loving this yellow for spring. Now that the entire piece had two coats of Queen Bee on it and was completely dry, before you apply any type of transfer, you do want to clear coat the piece. And I am using Big Top and applying a nice even layer uh, to all four sides. I also recommend that the big top or any type of uh, poly or clear coat that you're using is completely dry before you apply the transfer, otherwise it will peel up. So I'm going to do exactly what I did with that other transfer. I'm going to peel off the back, centerize it, lay it down, rub it with my transfer stick good, and then start peeling off that backing. After that, I'm going to burnish it really well. And there you have it. Um, I'm going to put that back on the handle and um, it was a little stuck there for a sec. And then I'm gonna go ahead and apply a clear coat of Big Top over the entire piece to seal it. What was your favorite item? Honestly, even though the finials did not turn out as turquoisey as I had wanted them, they still by far are my favorite. I love how they turned out. I love trying different techniques. I think um, next time I have a couple of different ideas of how I'm going to use um, that uh, dark and decrepit. I also got dark and decrepit powder now, so I'm going to try to play around with that. Uh, very excited um, to try different techniques and products. 
Um, but I also love this transfer. Um, and I know you guys do too. So I just ordered more. They are on my website. So I wanted to tell you that. Um, I think it is going to be definitely a game changer for your smalls. And especially with spring, all the different um, tags and florals. I love it. So I wanted to let you guys know that. Um, for Monday's video, I am going to be flipping a bunch more items for Antique Acres. One of those being, um, I had found in the garbage like two years ago, this beautiful wicker um, couch. I had it in my booth. I had recovered it. I used red uh, for the seat covers and I think that's where I went wrong. Um, it is very niche when, you know, you're really niching down for somebody that has, uh, red in their home and not many people use it other than during the holidays. So we're going to recover that. I was inspired by finding this. I went to the bins. I found this whole big wad of fabric. So we're going to recover that. I'm going to make some pillows also, um, to throw on the actual, um, couch. Uh, so I'm very excited about that this weekend. If I have time, I'm going to show you guys that, but if I have time, I want to show you um, a painting technique for these chairs. Uh, I don't know. The weather is just horrible in Wisconsin right now. I mean, it's one minute snowing, one minute raining. It's blowing wind. I mean, it's crazy. So I don't know if it will be on Monday's video or not, but I want to show you a bunch of items that I'm prepping and preparing for antique up. So that will be Monday's video, a little behind the scenes. And I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and we will see you Monday. Bye.